ABC is an isosceles triangle. So quick recap, isosceles simply means two lengths are the same. So they'll probably give you one length. So we have to realize our length is the same. Such that AB equals AC. So this means if we call this one A, we can call this one B. So AB equals AC. Okay, so two identical lengths. Such that A has coordinates 437. So label that there. And B and C lie on the line with equation 3y equals 2x plus 12. So we just got to imagine that this is a straight line with equation 3y equals 2x plus 12. So we keep in line with this here. So we can eventually work out the gradient and whatever we need to do. Yeah, and um, yeah, so find an equation of the line of symmetry of the triangle. Ooh, so that's an interesting one. So line of symmetry is down here. Okay. And yeah, just quick note, if this is a line of symmetry, that means we have two perpendicular lines. So that could be useful for a second. Give your answer in the usual form. All right, cool. So let's do this. So what can we, how do we start with this? So what I would personally advise that since we've got a coordinate here, which is on this um, perpendicular line, and we've got a line already here, we should go ahead and find the gradient of this line. And to do that, we need to rewrite this in the usual y equals mx plus c form, where m is the gradient. So, so far, it looks to me that it's almost there. We just, we just have to divide this equation by 3. So, we're going to have y equals um, 2 over 3x plus 4. So, this means the gradient of the line that cuts through BC is 2 over x, but the perpendicular gradient of the line from A downwards is going to be the reciprocal negative, the negative reciprocal. So, we can say that the line going downwards is going to be y equals minus 3 over 2x plus something, which we don't know yet. So we're actually almost there. We literally just go find C. But it's easy now because since we know that um, there's a coordinate on this line, that 437 is on that line, we just plug in X is 4 and Y is 37. So let's do that. Plugging in 437 when, when Y is 37 and X is um, 4. So it'd be 4 times 3 over 2, which is uh, minus um, 12 over 2 plus C. And whew, it looks like we're done. So minus 12 over 2 is minus 6 plus um, C. So the purpose is, is to find the C value and then we can rewrite in that usual form. And now we just add six across, which is going to give us 43. And yeah, that's our value for C. Now putting it back in the usual form, so we've got Y equals minus three over two X plus 43. And the form they want us is uh, an integer form where P, Q and R are whole numbers. Yes, yeah? so integer means whole numbers. To do that, just clear the fraction. So times by two across. We're going to get 2y equals minus 3x plus uh, times is by times 43 by 2 and you get 86 and they want us they want a px plus qy form so we've got plus 3x across so we're going to have 3x plus 2y equals 86 